Welcome back to our Ancient Egypt series. In this vlog, we're taking a spiritual journey to discover the many gods and goddesses worshipped by ancient Egyptians. Ancient Egyptians had a polytheistic religion and believed that many deities were present and in control of the world. We see these deities throughout many different temples across Egypt. Let's learn more. The first god that we come into contact with is Anubis, the Egyptian god of mummification in the afterlife, depicted as a muscular man with the head of a jackal and pointed ears. He's one of the oldest gods of Egypt, and his image is seen on the royal tombs of the first dynasty, including the tomb of King Tutankhamun. This powerful black canine was the protector of the dead and made sure they received their due rights and burial and stood by them in the afterlife to assist in their resurrection. The next Egyptian deity that we meet is Thoth, depicted as a man with the head of an ibis or an African bird, known for its long pointy beak. Many times he's depicted writing as he's the god of wisdom, writing, and hieroglyphics. Next is the sun god, Ra, the most important god of ancient Egyptians. Ra appears as a man with a hawk head and a headdress of a sun disk. Ra was believed to rule all parts of the created world, the sky, the earth, and the underworld. Ra is seen throughout many ancient sites in Egypt, including the pyramids. Their smooth, angled sides symbolize the rays of sun and were designed to help the king's soul ascend to heaven and join the gods. The next deity is Horus, one of the most significant ancient deities who served many functions, most notably god of kingship in the sky. He's depicted as a falcon wearing the double crown of Egypt. As one of the oldest deities in ancient Egypt, Horus is known through many victorious myths and legends. Horus. The eye of Horus is an ancient Egyptian symbol of protection and is seen throughout many temples and even in jewelry. The next deity that we see is Sobek, depicted as a human with a crocodile head. We see him many times, including at the Temple of Kamumbo, situated along the Nile. Sobek was associated with military prowess, as well as his protective nature, particularly against the dangers presented by the Nile. His fierceness was able to ward off evil while simultaneously defending the innocent. Crocodiles were worshipped in cities that depended on the water from the Nile, and the crocodiles were even kept in pools and mummified when they died. The next god that we see is a fun one, Bess, Egyptian dwarf god, associated with sexuality, humor, music, and dancing. Next is one of the most popular and powerful deities that we see again and again throughout almost every temple. This is Hathor, the goddess of many things, love, beauty, music, dancing, fertility, and pleasure. She's usually depicted as a beautiful woman with the head of a cow, the ears of a cow, or simply just a cow. This is the head of Hathor. Face of a woman with cow's ears. Goddess of love, Hathor. Egyptians worshipped individual animals, which they believed to be manifestations of particular deities. Who is your favorite ancient Egyptian god or goddess? Comment below. There are said to have been over 2,000 gods in ancient Egypt who controlled the forces of nature. Their religion lasted more than 3,000 years. But why did it disappear? It's largely attributed to the spread of Christianity and other monotheistic religions. After the original religious activities ceased, Egyptian temples suffered slow decay. Many were defaced by Christians trying to erase the remnants of ancient Egyptian religion. Some temples, including Philae, were adapted into churches. 
In the 4th century AD, Constantine made Christianity the only legal religion. Today, in Egypt, the most predominant religion is Islam, which is 90% Sunni, as well as Christian, which is mostly Coptic Orthodox. There is also a Jewish community, which is extremely small. So we're inside the Luxor temple, and inside the temple there's a mosque. And you might wonder, why is there a mosque inside the temple? Well, where this door is, was ground level during the 10th century. So they built it here, everything below was covered in silt. And it took 400 years to convert Egyptians to Islam. We hope that this video gave you some insights into the gods and goddesses that you will be seeing throughout your tour of Egypt. Egypt is one of the most spiritual and mysterious places we've ever visited, and we hope that you get the chance to visit very soon. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below, share with your friends, and subscribe because we have many more travel videos posted on our channel every Travel Tuesday.